Hey, hey, why they talking about these nigga Rush talking about ATL producers on Rush? Listen, bro. Just cause you had some nigga do some pussy shit and jump on some, jump on a young nigga, stop playing, bro. Real shit for somebody to fuck around and really get killed. Somebody really die, bro. Real shit. You run in your mouth a little too much, nigga, like you really about that bullshit. You ain't about none of that bullshit. Stay what you is, my nigga. Stay the little white kid that rap for the other little white kids with a fresh way of a father or something growing up. Whatever the fuck you is, nigga. Real talk, nigga. You really starting to talk a little too much, nigga. On power room. Check it out now. All right, all right, all right. Now it's never serious until a nigga put it on Pyro. Okay. Now I gotta be honest with you, man. That's my nigga Southside. I man, I really fuck with Southside. Southside, aka Little Bill. He's back at it again. Always cooking up on Instagram a dope motherfucking beat. And this time he decided to speak on something that's been bothering his spirit. Okay. What is that? That's Russ. Russ out here bullying and beating up 19-year-old SoundCloud rappers and, of course, still kind of talking down on other producers. And, of course, Southside wanted to say, please cut that out. Now, I I, I could kind of parse through what he said and find what I agree with and what I do agree with him with is that, you know what, I heard an interview by Russ recently where he was speaking about what happened with him and Perp, and he said, yo, listen, man, going too far in kind of getting my point across would be getting somebody killed, but, like, getting somebody beat up or a couple punches thrown at him, it's not that serious, okay? And that's where I think you see Southside is kind of coming into play by saying, yo, when you start getting violence into this thing, everything is serious, okay? Basically, it could go to that point. It doesn't stop at punches for some people. Okay, and while you might think that, yo, you look good because online they're praising you for getting a dude beat up that was talking shit about you, what if that nigga was on some street shit? And what if he was a street dude who was going to be like, oh, word, you going to do that? Now we're going to make bullets start flying. That's a problem, right? And who would you blame at that point? Yes, you could, of course, blame Smoke Perp because he did start popping shit first. However, who got it to the point of violence? Again, violence and beef when people are getting violent is a whole different conversation. Again, I'm going to kind of agree with Southside there where he says he don't know how Russ kind of came up in terms of his upbringing. But when you start kind of putting out orchestrated hits at people, despite if you're getting them killed or not, somebody could get killed. And that is a huge problem. Okay, uh, of course, you can see that um, Southside don't really agree with a lot of stuff that Russ says, but it really stems from the producer comments. But I do also have to say to Southside, Southside, you know you wouldn't let any of your rappers that you like get bullied like that. You recently stood up for Pierre when 6 ix 9 was talking shit about him, basically saying nobody gonna hurt my niggas. So you gotta understand that when people are getting quote-unquote bullied online or through the media, whatever it is, some people or anybody's going to have to defend themselves at some point. Now, again, I don't agree with people putting hands on people, but shit, you can't expect Russ to just sit there and just take all the slander from these artists that you're basically almost protecting by saying, yo, don't touch this person or whatever. Like, Southside, you being a big homie, you probably should, like, see when that type of shit is about to happen and probably say, yo, perp, 
Why you keep messing with this nigga, man? You know what happens if you keep fucking with a nigga in the streets, right? A nigga's gonna do something. It's the music industry, but a nigga might still do something. So I think that Southside should really be a father figure for some of these niggas in terms of, yo, you could be the big homie, and you could tell them when they're doing bullshit. Also, when you feel like people picking on them, you could also defend them as well, okay? You can't just say it was bad what Russ did without acknowledging that, yo, perp, you went too far. And again, I don't like what Russ did, but perp, you went too far. And of course, Russ cut it out in thinking that a couple of punches is all where it stops. This is hip-hop. We've seen so many people die of gun violence. It takes nothing for somebody to get stomped out or jumped. We've seen this before. We've seen it with Pac. Somebody got jumped, and somebody said, fuck that. That won't be the end of it, especially because it's on camera. We're coming back, and we know how that ended, all right? So I agree with Southside there. Russ cut that shit out, all right? What do you think about this? Get in the comments. guys like them, subscribe. We still told my Russ sending his hitters to deal with his online bulliers. I don't know, man. How much y'all think Russ Renegoons costs? Y'all let me know. Get in the comments. you guys like them, subscribe. Your boy, Jackie Demix. I'm out.